diverse and inclusive without it feeling like we're ticking boxes. Yeah, exactly. And I think if you're going to go for diversity for the sake of diversity, don't bother. If you're going to go for diversity because you're finding the right people from the right places, bring it up like absolutely let's celebrate that let's celebrate a world where no one looks the same and or like or acts the same or you know no one has the same sexuality that's what i that's what we want to be a part of you tick all the boxes of diversity but the one box the most important one you don't tick and that is making a show that the audience enjoy and respect not even the critics want to touch the show with a 10 foot pole <laughs> So guys, welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, evening or night, wherever you might find yourself in the world. And welcome to a new video. Before we begin, please, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to get updated on new videos. Uh, it's totally free to do. And leave a comment. I totally like to read what you guys think. The one thing I find strange is that the Rotten Tomatoes tomato meter has not changed. Normally, if you tick all the diversity boxes, you will get praised by the critics for being so stunning and brave. And they did it with she Willow and the Rings of Power, but not with this show. Are they late with their reviews or did Netflix forget to send out their promotional gifts? But on a serious note, could this be the turning point where critics are also getting tired of this woke garbage? Cause, like I said in my previous video, once the critics in the audience are on the same page, it's Armageddon. And secondly, no one came out and called the fans toxic or sexist or racist. Or could it be that they took what Henry Cavill said to heart? There's something really interesting with this character that I find fascinating, which is that he genuinely really does just want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But everywhere he goes, whether it's a new town or a new bar, people just kind of give him a hard time and they rag on him despite the fact that he has great intentions. I'm curious if that's comparable to this sort of world, this culture of toxic fandom, where like if you make a movie, especially if you make a superhero movie, it does, like you have great intentions, but there are always gonna be a small yet vocal group of people there can kind of just be toxic. I understand what you're saying, but when it comes to fans, it is a fan's right mm -hmm. to have whatever opinion they want to have. And people are gonna be upset because especially when it, you're talking about books or games, because you're never going to be the exact person who they had in their head or who they played on Witcher 3, for example. I don't necessarily consider that toxic. I just consider that passionate. Mm. Do you think they took this to art or do they know that attacking the fans now could have a major impact on The Witcher Season 3 with Henry Cavill? and season four and five without him. I think they know this will be a dumb strategy to follow before season three, cause every potential fan will turn their back on the show. I would like to know what you guys thought on this. And again, thank you for watching if you made it this far. I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye.